Hello everyone, welcome back and welcome new viewers to some more Stormworks. Today I've got kind of a little, nice little trick for you today. So uh, let's not waste any more time, let's jump on the workbench and I'm going to show you how to get this done. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is let's go ahead and put on some symmetry mode. That makes it easy for us. We're going to lay out a nice little platform here, and that's probably way too big, but uh, it is what it is. You know what? Let's make it a little... We can make it a little bit smaller. There we go. Uh, let's find a center point here. Close enough, right? Close enough. Uh, do a couple blocks here. Okay, why, why can't I... There we go. A couple blocks. Alright, so next we need props. Why is that not... Okay, there we go. Apparently it does not need an S. Uh, so we're going to drop, ooh, let's use the small ones here for the, uh, we're going to use two rotors, uh, and we'll set them down here, and this is not necessary, but I, I just like the way that the three blades looks, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, we've got three blades here. All right, perfect. So this would work whether you're doing coaxial or just regular one prop and a tail prop. Uh, you could do this on your tail prop as well, um, but this, we're just going to do coaxial for the sake of this example. What we're going to need to do is uh, just underneath this first prop here, we're going to put two blocks. Uh, that's going to make it easier so we can grab our end effector. We're going to grab our end effector. We're going to put it right here uh, facing our prop. Uh, and what this is going to do is this is basically the same thing as pressing E or Q on your prop. Uh, well, now you say, how do I get one up on top? Well, that's pretty easy. Uh, we just go straight from here and we pull up like this until it's connected. Uh, we'll grab another end effector, come in here and place that like so. And then you can come in here and you can delete all, oops. You can come in and you can delete all unnecessary blocks here that you do not need. Now, I know that looks a little junky, um, but it is what it is. Uh, but I know a lot of you like to XML stuff, so you can maybe XML this to being invisible and you won't see that anymore. But let's move on to the next thing that we need to do, and that is going to be a welder. We're going to grab our mounted welder here. Uh, we're going to face it backwards towards the prop. And the great thing about these welders is they weld around five blocks. So we don't even need one on the top. All we need is just, just this one. Uh, so that works out pretty good there. All right, as far as that goes, we're all set up. So next, let's grab a couple buttons. For this example, I'm going to be using push buttons, and we don't need to mirror this anymore. So we can do that there, and we can do that there. Perfect. All right. Uh, we're also going to need a battery because these things need power. Uh, so let's go ahead and power things up here. Power, power, everything gets power, you get power, you get power, perfect. Uh, as far as this button goes, all you have to do is go straight to the end effectors, nothing in between. Now, as far as doing this welder, uh, when you push it, it'll just, it'll just spark, but we need it to weld for quite some time. So what we're gonna do is grab a couple capacitors. One might be enough, but I use two just to make sure that things do get repaired. I'm not constantly uh, hitting this button to make sure it does repair, especially if you're in mid-flight and you're trying to repair something. You don't want to be focusing on, am I hitting this button? Is it repairing enough? But what we'll do is we'll come into our capacitors. Uh, we're going to turn charge time all the way down, discharge all the way up. We're doing a zero and 10 seconds here. And we're just going to feed our push button through the capacitors and to the welder. So what we're going to get is a 20 second weld time on this, which is great. More than enough, more than enough. Uh, so that's really all you need to do to get these blades to fold and to be repaired with the push of a button. Uh, so let me get a rifle here so we can do some damage to this. And we'll throw a couple bits of ammo down. Why not? It is what it is. And let's spawn this in and see how this works. All right, so as far as folding the blades, Look at that. That's all you got to do. So if you're sitting in your cockpit and you're one of those people like me that jumps out and instantly gets decapitated, this is the way to do it. Uh, this will stop your blades instantly. Uh, you can just hit that. Then you can throttle down. No worries. Uh, as far as welding goes, let's just say that say the collective jumped up too much. You hit the top of the hanger because why we all spawn inside the hanger, I don't know. Um, but that's, you know, that happens. Happens to the best of us. So, boom. Okay, you've damaged your... Damage, 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 two, damage, 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 damage. All right. Now, all you have to do is come in, push the button, and it's auto welding for you. So look at that. Perfect. All done. Um, and it's still welding right now, but things are still fixed. So if I probably, sh oh, I'm out of ammo. If I were to shoot it again here, probably run out of time. Yep. No, it's still welding. It was still welding, had like one second left. But yeah, we got 20 seconds of welding power to this. But yeah, look at that. That's awesome. So yeah, some of you guys were asking how I did this. Uh, that is how I did it. It's just that simple. 
And then you could come in here, you could hide these bottom two with a couple blocks and stuff. So the only one that you're actually looking at would be this top mounted end effector. But if you've got a tail rotor and you don't have this top one, you wouldn't see these at all. And you could also hide your end effector and your mounted welder down at the end as well. So that's a that's a quick little down and dirty way to repair and auto fold your your blades. And you could even have these tied in together, but I've done that and it just doesn't seem to work as well, especially if you're in mid-flight, you don't wanna be closing your rotors to repair them. So yeah, guys, I hope this uh, helped you out. I hope this helps your builds with your helicopters. I hope, you, uh, hope it keeps you up in the air. Uh, no one likes to crash, especially when you gotta go recover a vehicle. But yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you 100% and we will see you guys in the next one. Uh, I just wanna make a quick side note that if these, these guys here get damaged, you're not, you're not welding. You're not welding anything. So you're gonna have to repair this block. This block would repair the end effectors, but it will not repair itself. So that's the, that's the one downside to this, but this is all better than nothing, right? Better than nothing?